This is the kind of team that has the ability to steal a game and beat you if you don't convert your chances and if you don't show up and play a full 90. Okay, so right now they're 2-2-1 two, two in the league. You saw the game against Pitt where they came back late and beat Pitt 2-1. They tied Notre Dame, uh, and they tied them playing a man down for the last 30 minutes of, of the game and 20 minutes of regulation. So they hung around against a good Notre Dame team. They hung around against the NC State team and won. We're going to show you two tapes here. We're going to just show you the scoring chances here of the game against Notre Dame. Notre Dame is in white. Boston College is in uh, maroon. Film study for us plays a major role in what we do as a team. We watch every single team we're going to play, make sure we study them, know exactly you know, how they're going to play, what their weaknesses are. Bad things happen when you let teams change the point of attack. Here, Notre Dame lets them change the point of attack. The kid Dilly Dallas is up here. They're slow getting back. Okay, a little confusion. This kid hits a very good shot, okay, and scores a goal. Sasha and the coaches do a great job off the field is getting us prepared for the other team and some of their tendencies. And it's good to get a visual of kind of what they're all about. We'll make sure we have one guy fronting. Probably Mets, you'll front. Alex, you'll probably pick up the big guy. And the rest of the guys will mark. We'll probably have one other zonal guy. I think we use the film session very valuably. We don't, we don't harp on too many things. We give kind of a quick look at it to what to expect and some of their strengths and some of their weaknesses. But pretty much our focus is on ourselves and how, how we can take our strengths and apply them to maybe some of the things that the other team's going to bring. And we will be successful by doing those. Hopefully you're in a better place with your legs. We're going to go out again short, sharp today, OK, focused. And then we'll come in here and get ready for, uh, for a big night tomorrow night. OK, man? Let's go. Let's get a different color of pennies and we'll, we'll put them into uh, a 10 v 10. Then there'll be two extra guys. So we'll need one more yellow guy just to, for the first part of the warm up. And then we'll, we'll go from there. Let's go. Kubasa. That's how I did my hamstring yesterday. Good thing you're not 51 years old. Come on. All right, listen. Initially, we're going to get you in twos around the, the yellow guy. So it's not designed to be physical, technical, okay, and sharp is what I want right now. Okay, so let's get let's get uh, two guys to a ball quickly. You can be you can be with any two for right now. Let's go. The coaches here, they're looking in your best interest, and they want you to get better and they are always giving you uh, positive energy and making sure that you're you know, trying to be at your best. Okay, now, have a little fun. One and two touch juggling over the yellow guy. Okay, let's go, a little skill. One and two touch juggling over the yellow guy. Have some fun. Uh, fun means high quality technical skill. If my hamstring wasn't torn, I'd be showing you how to do this. Commitment, concentration, communication, cooperation, and condition. It's our performance pentagon, and it's a philosophy Sash brought to the University of Maryland and the men's soccer program when he came here, and it's, it's something that we take to heart every day. We have a sign on the door as we walk out of our locker room, and each one of our, our teammates, we touch on the way out because it means something to us. It's almost a promise to come out here each day and put in those five words that we believe in strongly out on the field in everything that we do. Good, Subasa. good. Good spot. Yes. If Patrick happens to show really deep, you're going to have to go, OK? Play, let's go. A lot of guys, they put in the commitment to the, this great sport and throughout the years. And then coming in here, it, it even increases on that level. We love to do it, but it, it takes a strong dedication from each one of us to put in the work to improve each day, not only on the field, but off the field as well. Well done. That's good. Let's go. Last ball. Last ball. One more. Thank you. Going. Too much space. <laughs> it's that camera's fine, Jason. Don't worry. Oh.
uh, here's what we want. We're gonna, we're gonna play against what is perceived Boston College here, okay? Let's move the ball quickly. Keep it on the ground, okay? If it's, if it's on to go direct, obviously go direct, but let's keep the ball moving quickly. Let's change the point of attack. Let's see if we can make sure we pick up their attacking guys. They're pretty mobile. So lots of talk, just do your thing. Let's go. The culture here when it comes to playing every day is always high tempo. You're always constantly getting pushed to get better. You're never guaranteed to get playing time so since there's so many players that deserve it. We get out here and we always battle and every session is, uh, is good because you're constantly getting better. Put down one the other white ball where the ball is, let's go. When Sasha is talking to us, that, that's an instructive kind of communication where he's trying to make us better players and, and trying to either point out something tactically or technically that we might need to improve. Keep it outside, okay? Now I come in a situation here where I've eliminated him with the pass. He's got him covered, we've got cover, then he slides over here, and now he can't find Jay Confender and force him out here. That's almost more like a student-teacher communication where you're eager to learn and you know, you're taking almost good mental notes to make sure when you go out you can apply it to the practice and then eventually into the game. nothing like playing at Ludwig. It's so exhilarating getting out of the field because you get the, the roar of the crowd and scoring a goal. You feel everyone's energy. It's, it's like nothing I've ever experienced. I think we have some of the most passionate fans that you can find. It's not only a great college soccer fan base, but some of the best fan base in this country, period, end of story, whether it's Major League Soccer or any league out there. What would I want for my college soccer experience? Do I want to go somewhere where my spot isn't guaranteed, where I come out every day and I get challenged, and it, it's, it's about earning your spot every day. Iron shower printing iron, it, I believe it comes from the Bible, and Sash pulled it out earlier in the year and told it to us. It's, it's a great saying, and I couldn't agree more. You get put into the fire a little bit. You get tested every day when you come out of practice by good players and great coaches that push you to your, to your limit. And I think, for me, that's what it's all about in the game, is pushing yourself to your limit and seeing how far you can go past that and how good you can become. And I wanted to come in and be a part of a team and work for one common goal and make sure that I earned everything I got. And I think it's paid dividends for me and a lot of other guys on this team for, to this day. If you bring the right mentality in terms of being ready for the fight of the mind, the heart, and the body, then. I think you're just going to propel and become the best soccer player, the best person you can become through this program.